Hello, everybody. Grateful to be back again. This is Peter Gantner with another low cap gem token project that I'm excited to bring in and talk to you about. But before we do that, I want to let you know I'm not a financial advisor. I don't want to be one. I never want it to be one. I have never been one. And this is not considered financial advice. It is simply for entertainment and educational purposes. So the project we are going to cover today is Unmarshall. The token is Marsh. And I got to tell you, I have been involved in this project for some time. At one point during the last bull run, this project was thought to have a bunch of potential. And it wasn't just thought. It does have a bunch of potential. It's just going through what it's been through. The token price has come down dramatically. As a matter of fact, we can come in here and look that it is right now 0.1494. So it's up about 13.97% on the day of us filming this. But we can go out here to the all time, guys, and we can see that at one point when this launched, this was an $8.80 token. And the reason why it was there is because of the team, the potential that it had going into it. But we can also see that this was 4-7 of 2021. Of course, we know seven months later, the bear market came in and it just literally sucked all the oxygen out of the marketplace. However, these guys have continued to develop incredible technology and continue to move things forward. And that's what we're going to look at today is some of the stuff that they've been building, what they've been doing. So you guys know we're looking for projects that we know the team is strong because they've made it through a bear market. It's easy to start a project in a bull run and look like you're a genius. What's harder to do is to maybe start in a bull run, then go through a bear market, but yet continue to move the project forward or launch towards the end of the bull run and then have to go through a bear market. You know that these guys are resourceful and that they are committed to the decentralization, to the process, to the project, to their holders, because they've stuck it out and continue to build in the space. Now, if we look at this, guys, it does say that it's about a million dollar market cap, but I believe the circulation that's out there is higher than what it is here. We'll look at that on, on Dex Tools when we go from there. But right here, it shows a million dollar market cap. It shows that there's about 7 million marsh that are in circulation out of 100 million, which would only be about 7%, gives us a fully diluted market cap of 14.9 million. Uh, when we go over to Dex Tools, they say there's about a 50% distribution of the token out there, which gives it like a six or $7 million market cap at its current pricing, okay? Now we can see that this is on the Ethereum chain, but gratefully, they are also on the BNB &B chain, which means if you're gonna buy a small amount of it, um, you can do that on PancakeSwap. We're also going to go over here and look, are they on any exchanges? And the answer is yes. They're on MEXC. They are on LaToken, Gate.io, KuCoin. So they are on exchanges. It's always good if you use an exchange, you can buy it on the exchange. You're going to save any gas fees. You're not going to pay even the Binance gas fees. So you'll just pay the fee to the to the platform itself on it, but you're not going to play, pay the chain gas fees. So again, Ethereum and BNB. What I want to do right now is let's go check out what they're doing on X. Okay. All right. So oh, I finally got that right. Twitter X. I usually have to say known as X. I got it right the first time this time and said X. I guess I've been making enough videos. First thing I'm going to do is follow them. I should have been following them the whole time. Like I said, I held this token since the last bull run. I actually bought it uh, on the day of their launch. So you know I'm into this for a little bit more than what it's worth today. However, I always believed in it. So I held on to the tokens, okay? All right, so if we go down and we look, they've been part of it for since November, 2020. And we can come in here and say their pin post is, hello, Martians. Welcome to our unmartial ecosystem journey, a tale of innovation, challenges, passion, and blockchain data. So their main thing, guys, is their data. It's, that's really what they're in. They've built tools and stuff that helps handle data in the blockchain world. In the step from a single chain to multi-chain framework, we've navigated through 
the highs and lows. Uh, there's a lot here. I'll let you come back and read it. What I want to show you guys, the chains that they support, just about all of them, right? We've got Arbitrum here, Phantom, the Binance chain, Clayton, Fuse, Velas, Mattis is here. So we just did a video on Mattis, Moonbeam, which just shot up like a rocket ship on their token price, partnerships and dApps, guys. The list goes on and on of their partnerships and dApps. These are all people that they're really working with, okay? We go here, the Unmarshall ecosystem. 10 billion requests served. We've got chains, 32 of them. You got 100 plus partnerships and 217 MS average latency. So you've got some very good statistics. This is a project that has continued to build and develop their partnerships with major chains backed by investors. So they've got a lot of investors, including X21 and many other ones. So you can come and check that out on the project. You guys know what I like to do is go back and look at some of the past messages that they've talked about. Hey, we're going to deliver this. Were they able to deliver it on time? And that is really time consuming. So I'm not going to go through that right now. That is something that you can do on your own to do your own research and see, but they are extremely active on their X account on that side. Let's go out to their website. All right, here we are unmarshall.io that is the official website and we can come over here to their products and we can see DeFi apis nft apis parser notifications and sakai bot okay so they've got several products that they developed and they built that are functioning and working so new is join this the sakai waitlist now most reliable blockchain data infrastructure alerts, APIs, notifications, all the stuff that helps you make good decisions when you're getting involved, alerts, lots of different stuff like that. So the easy way to query blockchain data from 20 plus chains, including Ethereum, BSC, and Polygon. This is a service. This is a something that absolutely the information that people need in order to function on DeFi dApps, on the gaming, all of the companies that are doing stuff needs the information that these guys are providing to the chains. So we can see that they're already doing it. Uh, they're not trying to get business. They already have the business. It's just them getting recognized. And of course, as this moves forward, the services that they provide will become more valuable, which will help what? The project generate more revenue and continue to push forward. So let me go back up here to the top. Let's go to the Marsh token. We can see bridge, stake. I probably should have staked my Marsh two years ago, right? Um, I'd probably be doing pretty good if I would have staked it. I did not. I just left it sit in my wallet. It's probably something that I need to do is move it over there and see what type of rewards. So a lot of times, guys, there's a couple things. One is it could be a fixed staking rate, 8%, 7%, 9%. Staking can also give you a percentage of the transactions. So you really have to dig in here and we will probably do that in our follow-up video is dig into what are the benefits and what is the staking. If you're watching this and you're with the project and you'd like to come on and be interviewed or get us that information, uh, we would appreciate that. There's a bridge. So they have a bridge here. We can click on the bridge and we can see that we can bridge between different chains that are out there. So Marsh ERC token balance, Marsh BEP20 token balance. We can see that we can bridge between the different chains that are out there. So if you're looking for a great bridge, this could be a possibility for to use their bridge. I've never used it. I'm going to try it though. And maybe that's something that we'll do in our next video as well, is try the bridge and see how that goes. Let's see what else we got going on over here. Of course, you can register because there's a sign in button there. For you to do it you can also connect your wallet and do things from connecting your wallet all right let's scroll down here a little bit further again guys our goal here is not to do deep dive research for you it's to show you the project give you the basics and then you can come back and say you know what peter i think that's exciting i think that's one is an interesting one i already hold the token so then you can come and you can do your research yourself and you can learn more about the project. And then hopefully what you'll do is share your research 
down in the comments in the chat and we can have a conversation about everything that they're doing. So as you guys can see, this is a sophisticated project that has been built with dedication, commitment, and looking forward to ultimately what the crypto market, the blockchain market, Web3 is going to need. Real quick, we're going to hit this video here. And it says coming soon, the unmarshaled Dataverse. And we're going to figure out what that is. We'll have to look into the Dataverse and find out what is the Dataverse? What is it going to provide? It seems to me that it's probably data in a metaverse setting. Because we all know that Citibank has done a report that by 2030, the metaverse is going to be an eight to $13 trillion marketplace. So you would think data in that would be very valuable and you can move forward from there. So we can see here 5.3 billion requests served, billion, that's with a B guys, 32 chains indexed, 50 plus partnerships. So this was what was on the site. I think I might've said million instead of billion when I read it on their Twitter page. So that is a lot. So anyway, you can come check it out. I always say, guys, either get the social media from something like CoinMarketCap or get it directly from the website of the project. A lot of people will search on Google and things, but people will create fake channels, fake sites and all that stuff. So the one thing you want to make sure that you do is you have the official website. You know exactly what it is. You go to that website and then you go out to there. Or like I said, you can go to CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko and they'll help get you there. Real quick before we end this, let's jump over here to their DEX tools. We can see that on DEX tools, they say it's a 6.67 million. They say the circulating supply is 45.15. I would probably think that this is probably more accurate information. So if you're getting involved in the project, this is probably the information that I would go by. A total market cap of 14.74, which matches what's on coin market cap. We can see $362,000 in liquidity. That's pretty good. 3.87K holders. That is probably why it's a 14 cents token. It's not more. Definitely need to increase the number of token holders. And hopefully they'll get something exciting going and that'll happen. I believe one of the things too, guys, and I've talked about this on another video is sophisticated investors are going to come into the space. And what they're going to look for is what relationships, what business, what's the value that the chain provides, not just that the token price is going up. And at that point, I think a lot of these projects, this fractal is another one, they're going to get a lot of attention and those value investors are going to pour into those projects and that's going to help with the market cap. Uh, 99 out of 99 score. So that is very good. Hopefully this information is valuable to you. You'll check out Unmarshall. The token is Marsh, and I want to thank you for joining me on this video. If you like this content and you're looking for more tokens and you want to get an idea of some tokens that you can do some research on, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And of course, like the video, ring the bell so you get notified when we come out with our next video. Have a great day. I want to thank you, and I look forward to presenting another video to you very soon.